Public Health Ministry moves to assure the public on outlying cases as vaccination drive cranks up. A 29-year-old market seller who works in Bangkok but lives in Ratchaburi becomes the first confirmed case of a vaccinated person to test positive for COVID-19 as officials begin giving full briefings to the public to show the confidence that authorities have in the campaign now underway to vaccinate the Thai population and restore the country to normality. Thailand's Ministry of Public Health has been briefing the public on cases linked with the country's vaccination campaign which received a boost this week when the Johnson & Johnson vaccine was approved for use in the kingdom. The first was the case of a 60-year-old man who died on 13 March after receiving the vaccine just two weeks previously. Doctors have concluded following a full investigation into the death that the man died as a result of a chronic illness, an aortic aneurysm which he had suffered from since birth. Also in Rechaburi, a 29-year-old woman was confirmed to be infected with the disease after being inoculated on 18 March last. Details concerning the tragic death on 13 March of a 60-year-old man with an aortic aneurysm since birth was given at a press conference at the Ministry of Public Health in Nonthaburi on Friday by the Deputy Director General of the Department of Disease Control, Dr. Sofan Iam Orn. It comes as on Thursday, the Thai Food and Drug Administration approved the Johnson & Johnson jab for use in the kingdom with up to 100,000 people already having received a first dose and 7,000 fully vaccinated. On Friday, Thai medical experts with the Department of Disease Control at the Ministry of Public Health in Nonthaburi gave a press conference to give details of a 60-year-old Thai national who died on 13 March last and who had earlier received a COVID-19 vaccine. The press conference heard Dr. Sofan Iamzi Rithorn, the Deputy Director General of the Department of Disease Control at the Ministry who works on a key committee dealing with the country's vaccine rollout, explained to the media that the death of the man was unrelated to the vaccine. Dr. Toich Otpate Asanand of the National Communicable Diseases Committee gave some background to the man's clinical history. Deceased man suffered from an aortic aneurysm it appears that he had suffered from a chronic condition since birth referred to as an aortic aneurysm. This is a distension of the aorta caused by weakness in the blood circulation system. Dr. Torrey described the condition as a ticking time bomb for any person who suffers from it, meaning that the blood system can rupture without warning leading to internal bleeding and inevitably to death. Doctors concluded that his death resulted from a ruptured abdominal aneurysm which was his chronic illness, the medical expert told the press. It was like a time bomb buried in the body. This should not have anything to do with the inoculation, which only coincidentally happened about 10 days previously. 60-year-old received surgery in late January and was vaccinated in March after a physical examination he gave the press a full timeline of the man's medical history. It appears that a 60-year-old who had been the subject of surgery in late January was hospitalized for 40 days. As a high-risk patient, he was scheduled for a physical examination at the end of February and was given a vaccine dose after being deemed fit. Medical support staff reported that when reviewed on 1 March and 3 March, the man appeared to be in good physical condition. Reported in good health in early March but developed problems on 8 March and died on 13 March They were unable to locate him on 7 March but it appears that on 8 March and 9 March he developed weakness dizziness and began to faint. He suffered from congestion. He was admitted to hospital where he died on 13 March. Dr. Torrey explained that medical officials are fully satisfied that the deterioration of the man's condition was entirely linked with his aortic aneurysm and was not caused by taking the vaccine. Potentially fatal condition that should not be aggravated by high blood pressure says top doctor he emphasized that the condition can turn fatal for anyone who suffers from it, at any time. He stressed that those inflicted should avoid circumstances or behavior which can cause high blood pressure. This could include sports activity or the wrong foods as well as smoking. 29-year-old market seller from Rechaburi, the first person to test positive after being vaccinated here on Saturday, doctors revealed that a 29-year-old market seller at the Kitty Market in the Banki area of Bangkok may have become Thailand's first person to be confirmed as infected from the COVID-19 virus after being vaccinated. This is to be expected as the vaccines are not 100% effective but doctors and medical experts underline that the chances of developing a severe infection after being vaccinated are extremely low. 
There is also strong evidence from Western countries and the United States that such people are likely to be significantly less infectious. The 29-year-old is from the Muang district of Rachaburi province to the west of Bangkok and near Samut Sakhon. Inoculated on the 18th of March but taken into quarantine on the 21st of March after testing positive prior to this, she went to the Kitty Market in the Banki area of Bangkok on the 13th of March last to be tested and returned home from the 14th of March to 17th where she learned from social media that her friends had all been cleared. On the 18th of March, she was at the market again and received her first inoculation. It was only two days later, on the 20th of March, that she was informed that her initial test was positive and that she was to be held in a state quarantine facility. She was moved there on the 21st of March. A test on Friday showed she was positive for the disease and was admitted to Rachaburi Hospital. 136,190 people so far have received doses with 14,798 vaccinated as the government is urged to vaccinate all adults by its top medical experts and virologists Thailand plans to vaccinate at least 50% of the adult population before the end of December 2021 with 63 million AstraZeneca and Sinovac vaccines already contracted to be provided during that time. The Ministry of Public Health is currently pursuing a further 5 million Sinovac doses as top medical experts such as virologist, Dr. Yong Puvroran, have urged officials to secure 100 million doses to vaccinate nearly all the adult population from the disease. On Thursday last, the Thai Food and Drug Administration approved the Johnson & Johnson one-dose vaccine for use in Thailand. There are reported to be 136,190 people in the kingdom who have already received the first dose of a vaccine with 14,798 fully vaccinated at this point.